till now we are validating only response content so along with response content we should also validate response http code to validate response http code we need to do some changes so let us go to our demo class and see what we can refactor here so as response has all the status code content and headers so better if we return the response from these methods okay so what we can do we can comment this line of for now and return the response okay so when we are returning the response the return type should be i rest response okay that little change we need to make here and same goes to this method so i will return the response from here and the return type would be i rest response that's a small change we need to do now let us go to our test first thing what we have to do we have to add http status code okay and this one i can say status code okay i need to import this from system dot net all right now we see the errors here api dot get users as these are rest response this return type is rest response so we need to include uh, the reference here so what we can do we can add the reference to this our api test project and if we add the reference this error will go away all right so few other things we have to do here let us go back to uh, this create new user and copy this wherever we are getting the content and after this response once we get the response we'll place it here to process our content okay so that will handle by the content all right before that we are talking about the status code so how we can verify status code okay all right so status code already we have declared a variable okay so this response this response now will have this http code so if we say response dot status code this will give us a response http code okay but we need to cast it okay so how we can do this we can cast into integer status code and we can assert the http code here okay so if you are expecting that it should be 200 okay so we can assert with this code okay so first assertion is we can apply at the level of http code if http code return is 200 then we can go further to check if it is some other like 400 500 we can stop our uh, test here because that's uh, the initial validation fail right now we uh, see here these are part of the content where we are validating the content so let's let us change this uh, naming convention a little bit i can say uh, user content okay now and it is showing some uh, error here let us see so what i have to do i have to use rest sub dot models in this test class all right that's only thing i have to do and the change the name in place of response to user content okay and that's what i have to do and same thing we can do here but for now i'll just skip i'll 
just comment it and run the test okay so i can run it from here also so let us run and see the changes what what we have made is working fine or not to validate the http code okay so it's running and uh, just i will expand this to see the name clearly and it shows it is running create new user test it is fail we can go here and see what is the failure so assertion is failed expected 200 actual 200 okay so in place of 200 it is returning to not one okay so i can change this code okay and that is expected all right just change it so uh, every endpoint has uh, based on like what what developer has set it can return 200 201 or 202 okay so it has a series of uh, 200 which shows different status codes so it is pass see you in the next session